So how can an Asian American, specifically a Chinese American, succeed? And I'm going to take a video. I'm going to do this video about Chinese Americans because even within the Asian American group, there are many sets of different experiences. An Indian American will have a vastly different experience than a Chinese American, who will have a vastly different experience than a Pakistani or Iranian uh, American. So how can Chinese Americans succeed? Well, you know right now America and China is not the, on the best terms. So you already got a big handicap, right? Right now, 30, 40 years, 30 years ago, when mom came to America, US needed China to, to fight Russia. So for a while, China was America's good friend. Today, China is no longer America's good friend because China no longer wish to live in a world where US dictate all the terms. And as such, China now became what Russia was 30, 40 years ago, which is a strategic enemy. So everything, so at this point, China can do nothing right. No matter what China does, it's wrong. Even when China calls for neutrality and don't want, and basically saying, like, let's, let's sit down on the table, America is blaming China for not doing enough to stop Russia, right? China can do no right. So you say, well, I'm not Chinese. I'm a Chinese American. Okay, do I need to say the obvious? <laughs> do I really need to say the obvious? You will always be Chinese. Doesn't matter, and we, and you know, we, we as Chinese Americans, we really try hard to fit in. We really freaking try hard to fit in that country. We talk like them, we dress like them, we even try to think like them, even though deep down we do not think like them exactly, you know what I mean? But we try to think like them in order to fit in, and the reality is, we're not fooling anyone. We're not fooling ourselves, and we're not fooling them. So, you understand? So, let me ask you, why try? Why not be yourself? Why not be fucking proud of being Asian, being Chinese, and be Chinese? What's wrong with being Chinese? Do you know what the real value of a Chinese American is in America? It's not being American, it's being Chinese. Because where do you think all the many fact, all the wealth is being generated? The wealth is not being generated in America. The wealth is being reshuffled in America. But the wealth is generated at the fundamental level through what? Through production. And where is production being done today? It's in China. Do you understand? Every American ultimately is a good American in the sense that he only judge you by the amount of zeros in your bank account. Hence, if you're very rich, they'll treat you like a white person, right? The, look at Jay-Z. Look at Michael Jordan. Look at Kanye West. They're black, but they're not really black anymore, are they? Okay, so you understand this game. Okay. So then the question is, how do I get to that level? How do I... The only way you can shed... Your Chinese is. It's not by shedding your Chinese, but by being Chinese and being the freaking Chinese that all Americans both love and hate. That bling bling, freaking insanely rich Chinese. Okay, so how do you get there? Well, I can tell you that getting there in America, following their system, following the American way, you're not gonna do it. Okay, you're just a workhorse that they ride you. They're gonna ride you, ride you, ride you till they can't ride you no more because you're too old, too, too irrelevant, too obsolete. And they're gonna find another young Asian guy, guy, Chinese guy to ride. Do you understand? So how do you get rich? There's only two ways. One is you control some sort of technology or asset. As, you know, technology essentially is asset, right? But Controlling financial assets is hard when you have no money. But controlling technology, you can do that without money by hard work, ingenuity, and working for the right people, with the right people. Right? So if you are a young Asian Chinese America, control something, control technology, control knowledge. Okay? And technology, knowledge could be, don't, don't have to be just like internet of things, don't have to be IT. It could be medicine, it could be medical, it could be discovery, research, discovery. Control something. Because one thing that I can tell you about America, in that in the sense that it is somewhat more fair than everywhere else, because if you control technology, you can patent it. If you can patent it, you can protect it legally with lawyers. And then, they, dumb Americans, cannot go around you. They have to go through you. If they go through you, they have to pay a fee. And that's how you get rich. So in that sense, 
I still admire America for being for giving people a fair shake because I'll be honest with you. Let's face it, if you're in China, even if you control technology, they can go go around you, right? They can just take that thing from you. You got nothing. You got no protection. At least America give you that protection. But you had to get into the right things. Go into finance, bad idea. Why? At least finance in, in the US is a bad idea because you have no value there. They got the Jews, they got the white people. They, they got the they got uh, black people. They, they got a lot of them to do. They don't need you. But only if you have value. So this will bring me to the second thing. Only use the second thing to have value is if you have a connection with China. A valuable contract connection, they again they can't go around, they can't sever. Who do you think they staff in JP Morgan's and Goldman Sachs in Chinese China offices, Hong Kong offices, even New York offices? They staff them with Chinese kids whose parents has connection in the Chinese society, Chinese government, Chinese businesses. Do you understand? America is not stupid. Don't buy that bullshit. They know what's up. Okay? And they play the game. Don't don't listen to them and think that oh American society is different from Chinese society. No, all society is the same. I have traveled in eighty plus society. I'm doing business in the Middle East, and believe me, there are the same people. Everyone's the same. Okay. So, but the problem is, the fact that you went to you went to U.S. from China, and you're not a trust fund babies, then you don't have any connection in China. And if even if you did. By saying by growing up in the U.S., by by working in the U.S. for the last decade or so, your connection is severed because China moved on. China had new people now in control, new things happening. They don't need you anymore, right? So option P, the second option, is really for the rarity of few people, few Asian Americans, few Chinese Americans in America. The rest of us don't have that. We did at one point. That's how we got out of China, right? But then we lost it because we're stupid. We didn't keep it. We didn't value ourselves enough. We're trying to be too much, be like them. And that's why we lost our value. So, my friend, do you understand what I'm saying to you? If you're smart, study technology. It could be any type of study knowledge, control knowledge in America, then patent it, protect it with lawyers, protect it with any means necessary, and then commercialize it. That's the way. Not by trying to get into these startup funds, not to get into these VC funds, they don't need you, honestly, they don't need you. So those Asian guys that are in there, they got there early and they have connections, and then they did this something with their career. They've done something. Now it's crowded, it's too crowded. You, it's hard, you know? I, I was in San Francisco a few years ago, doing my MBA. I mean, every Chinese, Chinese little, little, cute little thing we're doing, we're trying to become a venture capitalist. It's crazy, it's nuts. You can't squeeze in there, especially if you're a Chinese boy, a Chinese man. I'm sorry. <laughs> you're, gonna get, you're gonna be a step over for the Chinese girl because you know what? The Chinese girl has that thing that you don't have, <laughs> that white man want. <laughs> Do I need to be more obvious? All right, so I hope my straight talk, my real talk, answered your question. If you can't control something, you have no future in America because they don't need you. They don't like you. They don't want you there. They see you as an enemy. Or you come to my world. Because outside of America, outside of, the, outside of Europe, it's our playground. Right now, it's all playground. Good luck.